Nothing is quite so terrifying as waking up on a bed you've never seen before, in a room you've never seen before, unable to see anything to explain where you are, how you got there, or why you are naked and tied spread eagled. Nothing, that is, apart from the sight of a masked, hooded figure dressed in black and wielding a hypodermic syringe. My screams were muffled by the gag in my mouth, and my struggles achieved nothing but fresh pain from my leather-bound ankles and wrists. The dark figure stood still, watching silently until I exhausted myself, then sat on the bed next to me, grabbed my left arm in a fierce grip to hold it still, and carefully pushed the needle into the muscle, pressing the plunger. My eyes blurred with tears as I watched him helplessly. This is the first of three injections, he said, definitely at he, by the pitch of his voice. You're an attractive young woman, but what God has made, man can improve on. I think you'll be very pleased with the results. A cold, icy dread filled my stomach, in contrast to the spreading heat from the injection site. I shouted at him through the gag, but my mumbled words had no effect. I'm going to release you from your bonds, he said. If you attempt to damage yourself in any way, that freedom will be taken from you. Behave, or else. Understand. I didn't want to give him anything. I didn't want to be at all complicit in this kidnapping and abuse, but I did desperately want to be free of the gag and cuffs. I nodded angrily. And he did release me, but first he fished his erect cock from his trousers and pointed it at me. Ignoring my fresh and equally useless struggles, he calmly worked himself to a climax, his cum wetting my breast and belly. With a finger he swirled his cum about my nipples. One day soon you will beg for me to do this. With a click, he undid the clasp at my left wrist, then stood, tidied himself away, and left the room, the heavy steel door closing behind him and leaving me alone in the room. My prison cell. That was it. My last memory was of the courthouse. I'd been found guilty of getting an abortion in this cruel, dystopian society that controls women's bodies and denies us basic human rights. This punishment, whatever it was, just proved the point. My consent was irrelevant to them. Fuck you. I screamed as I finally tore the gag from my mouth. Motherfuckers. There was no answer, of course. Perhaps there was no one even listening. There were, however, two cameras covering the room. The heat was spreading, and my whole left arm felt swollen and sore. I tried to stand up, but fell dizzily onto the bed again, my head hurting like crazy. Fuckers. I yelled as I tried not to give in to tears. I had never in my life felt so alone and lost and powerless. His cum was on my breasts and its stink made me feel even more sick. But no matter how bad it got, no matter what they did to me, no way would I let the fuckers break me. There was a sink in the cell and I crawled over to it and cleaned myself as best I could.